Hi everyone, Shell here, Shell's Nails. So what we're going to do, we have these pump ups. So I probably should give you a quick look at them on an Amazon haul, but I haven't actually opened them up. So all your information's on there, how to use them. It's really important that you can't just stick a nail on it. It won't last. If you rough up, if you clean your cuticle, you know, the dead skin that's on you, stuck on your nail plate and push this, the approximate nail field, let's go, anyway, if you push that back and then scrape the dead cuticle off your, your nail and rough your nail up a little bit and then clean it with some isopropyl alcohol or you can use acetone if you want, just to get all the oils and stuff off. Yeah, yeah these stick-ons, glue-ons or whatever, they'll last you. Right, let me see if I can get into this. Because my nails are jewels, not tools. So I'll open that, that up. Let's have a look at these properly. Right. Oh, very nice. So first things first, I'm going to check the biggest size. So what size is this? That's a zero. That looks like a hefty size zero. Right, so that's that that is on top of my nail and it still fits. So they will be good for people with wider nail beds. And they're longer. Woohoo, yes. Right, so that's a zero and it goes all the way down to the teeny tiny size eleven. Is it eleven? Yeah, size eleven. Which is like that big. <laughs> but yeah, titchy tiny. So there you go. Um, and you get four glues with it. Oh, a little. Oh, look. Get a little. Little doofa. That's cool. Right, now I normally put mine on with a. A thick base coat or like a like a builder base so we'll get the hand ready and we'll have a look and I'll show you how to um to prep your nail so we'll pop that to one side right yeah she is good old tipsy right so you're gonna get your your file got an 180 and the rougher side is the 100 you don't know I personally wouldn't use that to rough up my nail. It's a bit, it's quite harsh, but you know, it's in there, so so you can. So all you're going to do is you're going to scrape your nail. And what you'll find is, as that looks like powder, that would be the dead skin. So you just give them a little, a little scratchy up and down the sides. You don't want them too smooth. So, and then want some isopropyl alcohol, and you're going to clean all that dead skin off. So there you are. You can see it's got scratches on it, and that's what you want, all right? Isopropyl alcohol and um, acetone will take all the oils off your nails, all right? rubbing alcohol 70% is what I use the isopropyl alcohol from Amazon I'll link that below if you want it's a big bottle but it lasts ages so we'll do so we'll just do two we'll do another one so you can use one of these I'll show you so you can use this to push the nail fold back okay and it exposes all the Maybe that's just got a little bit of cuticle there, a little bit of cuticle. And then you can use that end to scrape the dead skin up. Like that. But you can do it with that just the same. So you can push it back just gently. And then just do the whole, the whole nail. Mm, 
that's coming up and then again with your IPA you can buy like um cleansing solution but it's just IPA with colouring in it some sort of colour in it so you might as well just buy the IPA the the seventy percent stuff so you know that's the that's the best one anyway. Seventy percent. So once you've got that you're going to size your nails up. Hmm. God, I'm all over the place today. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna size your nail up and you're gonna make sure it goes side wall to side wall. So these are the side walls. So that's it goes side wall to side wall. It certainly does. Let's check it on the next one. That's probably a better fit for that one. So we'll have that for that one. And then we'll go down a size. So that one was a it's hard to read that was a five, so we're gonna go for a three if a four, sorry. Not a three, four. There's six. So the numbers go down the way. So we've got a six, just have to check it. Does it go side wall to side wall? It does. So you don't want it too big. So normally these two are roughly this they're normally the same size, but they are on my hand anyway. So you would have two sixes and you would have the five for that one. So this is a good time to shape them if you want to shape them. You can make them pointy, you can cut the ends off. So if you want a coffin. Boop. There you go. Or you can cut them down once you've glued them on top of you. So you've got a nice coffin. Same with that one. If you want to, you can make it if you have stiletto. So these are stiletto, but they're not pointy. If you want lethal weapons. Sorry, out the bloody shot. I do apologise. I was trying not to get dust in that. Over there. So. Give it a clean. There we go. So if you're not great at filing with your left hand on your right, do you know um, you can do you can do with that, and then it's all ready to go. IPA the isopropyl alcohol always makes them cloudy for some reason. I don't know why, but it does. So don't worry about it. It's perfectly normal. Um, it's the stuff that they're made out of. So there we all got a coffin and we've got a stiletto, and so that saves you doing any messing about. Now, if you have problem, you need to etch the insides. You can buy stuff that's already pre-etched, or you can just get rid of that. Sorry. So you can just scratch the insides up. So just get up the sides. And just scratch it all up. It gives it something the glue to stick to. You can use primer if you want. Um, it makes it tacky. But you don't need it. You can do it like that. Again, we have ice roll alcohol. So as you can see, it's all scratched up on the inside. It's hard to show you. Is that easier that way? Yeah, it's easier that way. So you can see it's it's dull. Okay. I get one of my glues. So you would decorate them, do whatever you want with them. And then we're going to open this. And this generally goes, I'm terrible with glue, goes everywhere. Whoop, your boys are. So what I used to do with mine was, I used to put a little bit. I've got to squeeze a hole in it. Yeah, we've got to put a hole in it. starts to come out so 
I used to put a little line down there like that. There we are. And just hold it. If it's glue, you'll have to hold it for a little while. Right, let's see if we can get this right this time. So, put a little bit down the sides. Don't put it right to the back, because you're going to file that bit. Even it out. Tipsy doesn't want to cooperate today. Mm, it's on. So clean your before you put the lid back on. Boop. Right, you need to season this file, okay? Because it's sharp. So take a take an older file. Smooth tipsy out of the way. Take an older file and just go along the edge. Right, each edge, and all that does is it just takes the, the edge off there. So you can't, as you can see, you can't cut yourself with it now because I've cut the edge off. And there, look, can you see? So, all we've done is we've taken that edge off so you don't cut yourself. I did that for about 100 years. <clears throat> before somebody told us you're supposed to season your file. Ha <laughs> ha! Right, so get them out of the way. She's broken. Right, so you're going to go up and around. Right way. You're going to go up and around. And you're going to blend that in. It's hard for me to do with this little one. You're just going to blend it in around the cuticle. Now, unless you're having glass nails, you need to take the shine off the whole thing. Right. To be honest, a buff has enough, but you know, we've got this, so this is what we're using. Just trying to limit the amount of things that you need. Have a set of nails on, basically. So, if you put base coat on this, it should go clear. Okay. So, you can still do your lovely glass nail. Okie dokie. Just so I'd show you that because a lot of people think, oh, I want to do glass nails, I can't now. We can. So I'm going to do this on. Get some base coat on. There we go. You don't have to do it underneath if you're not doing glass nails. Doesn't make any difference. Go. Get them in the land. Right. So, I'm going to use this glitter and I'll show you why. If you have a fine glitter, you can sprinkle it on the top. Like, put some more base coat on, sprinkle it on the top. 
and then top coat over it and it'll all be all nice and smooth but if you want to use something that's chunkier like this one you can put it on the inside so that's a base coat you can use base coat you can use poly gel top you can use top coat in there but Gonna get messy. Do, do, do. And just pop them where you want them. And get rid of that big one. We know like and get some of this nice Gorgeous glitter. Pretty. Give that a zap. Then you can put some top coat in. Make it super shiny. Just make sure there's none on your brush. Make it a random bit of glitter. Coming out. Give them a zip. There we go. That is your McCart pop ups. It looks pretty good. So, yeah, just nothing sticking out on the bottom because they're inside there. And because you've base coated over it and top coated up over it, it's looking pretty. You can still have that sort of effect where you don't have anything in it. Or you can put, you know, a full cover gel on. You know, whatever you fancy. But there you go. I just thought I'd show you how easy peasy it is. Anyway, if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you would hit the subscribe button, not be smashing. Hit this notification bell, ding ling ling and let me miss an upload. And I'll see you lovely lot in the next one. Bye-bye.